Hey guys, we're making doubles today in the kitchen. It's Vlad from Cook and Cook with Vlad and Fan. Just want to try and add street food, favorite food. Everybody in Trinidad had this once in their life. It's doubles with cucumber chutney and tamarind chutney, all of which we made fresh in the kitchen this morning. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like these. Today we're making doubles, Trinidad doubles. Come closer, let's get started. Just gonna go through real quickly what we're using. I got about five cups of flour here. Just about a pack of yeast. Some sugar, saffron, and some salt. Just a little bit of oil. This is just to go on top afterwards. Let's get right into this. I'm just gonna add yeast, sugar, saffron, and the salt. Hey, somebody forgot to bring me the water. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this up really well. I did put the water in the microwave a little bit just to get it just a little bit warm. I poured about a cup, yep, first. Let's try this and see. Now usually I'm not the one making doubles. Usually it's my wife, but she's in the back of the camera just giving me all the directions. Is it doing good, honey? Okay. And you know what happened when the Trini is watching the Guyanese cook? Hmm. I'm getting a special eye. I'm just gonna throw, it's about two cup more, no, about a cup. This is all well. Now it is cold today in Florida, so according to my wife, I need to add some more water if I don't get the right texture. This is a special birthday treat for my son. Today he's 14 years old. That's my smallest son, and he has requested. Doubles. Doubles with mango, no? Doubles with tamarind chutney and cucumber chutney, which I've made already. So we're gonna actually show you a piece of that clip of how we did that. See, it looks like it need much more water. I actually previously put four cups of water, two cups of water, two cups of water. All right, guys, while the double has been preparing, we're gonna go ahead and make our chutney today. Today we're doing a tamarind chutney and a cucumber chutney. So I went to the store earlier, I got some fresh tamarind. You know, I peel it, break it up into pieces and that's what we're gonna be using. And then I'm gonna set this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the cucumber chutney because this one takes a little while. So let's get started. In this mixing bowl, I'm just gonna put the tamarind I got. This is what it looks like. You know, break up them into pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of hot water. I'm just gonna leave this to soak for a while because I want the tamarind to get loose and I don't wanna put my hands in this hot boiling water right now. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Let's go ahead and make the cucumber chutney. So I did grate two of the cucumbers so far. I'm just gonna grate another one real quickly to show you which side of the grate I'm using. 
Some people use this smaller side, but I like a little bit of crunch on my double. So that's why I'm using this side of the grater. And I'm using Kirby cucumber. You know, you can use any other one, you know, that's available for you. You know, but you want freshness. I'm reading the skin and everything. I'll go right ahead and put this in the strainer. I want to take some of the liquid out of this cucumber. So what I do, I just squeeze it and let it drip into that container. As you can see, there it is. I don't want it to get too, too dry. I transfer this to this bowl. Water. Uh, this is actually good for you. I'm actually gonna just drink this before I throw it away. Now, to this cucumber, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon. Actually, this is lime, I'm sorry, lime. Not a lot. You don't want it too tangy. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. The salt is the taste. So, if you don't wanna put some salt, that's fine, but give it a good and add some pepper, black pepper. This is my green season mix I made this morning fresh. This one doesn't have the pepper. It's just culantro and garlic. And I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm going to use some homemade pepper sauce. Just going to add a little forest. And the reason I just put a little bit of pepper today, today is my son's 14th birthday. And he requested for us to make some doubles and chutney for him. He's not a pepper guy. So that is why I'm just putting a little. Now this is my take on making this cucumber chutney. I've tried a few different ones I've seen on YouTube, but this is our own version of how we make it. Putting in a little bit of lemon or lime, just a touch of pepper, grate in the cucumber different. And this really goes well on doubles. All right. Let's take a look at the timer and what is going on here now. Mm -hmm. To this, I'm gonna show you quickly what the recipe is for this, for the ingredients. I've got a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of amchar masala, half a teaspoon of salt, I've got my green seasoning here, same as the mix, just garlic and bandana, or shadow benny, culantro. I'm gonna add pepper sauce to it in a few minutes. But I wanna get in here with my hands and get some of those nice tamarind off the, off the um, seed itself because that's what actually is gonna thicken up the sauce and make it really, really nice. But it's still a little bit hot. So I'm probably gonna set this aside for five to 10 minutes and then I'm gonna get in here and really loosen it up. All right guys, the water has cooled a little bit. So I'm just gonna go right into here and try to break it up. 
rub all this nice tamarind pulp off the seed. Mm -mm. Now the reason I didn't add the pepper to this mix as yet is because it, it the pepper can actually burn your hands really, really bad. So after I'm done here getting most of the pulps off, and you know, look, this is what it looks like. Nice. Let me wash my hands really quickly and come back and add the pepper sauce. All right guys, we're just gonna add some nice homemade pepper sauce to this. Coming up in an upcoming video, I'm probably gonna do some of this pepper sauce mix that I do. I'm just gonna add a spoon. You know what, let's put a little bit more. The birdie boy likes cucumber chutney. Let's give this a stir. And let's taste this and see what it tastes like first. This way then we can add more salt or we can add a little bit of sugar if you want, depending how you like it. It's fresh tamarind, so it does still have a sour taste to it, but I'm gonna leave it aside. You know, so all the spices, the sugar and the salt and the masala, the amcha masala can mix into it. The garlic, the bandana. Let's leave this aside. And we're gonna go start making that Trinidadian number one street food. Doubles it is. All right, to this, we're just gonna put some oil, you know, put it according to how much you think is covering the entire dough. I'm gonna cover this and leave it for a while. We're gonna go ahead to the stove and we're gonna start our chana. This is the part that goes inside of this delicious doubles. Come on over here, let me show you what it is. All right guys, let's get this chana going. So I put about eight cups of water. Where is it? Yep, eight cups of water. I'm just gonna add, this is two can of chana. I'm just gonna add some saffron powder and just a little bit of curry powder. To this, I'm gonna add half of my season that I made. This is the fresh green seasoning, culantro, shadow benny, bandania, that's what it's known as, and garlic. The reason I only put half is that when I'm gonna put the cumin or jeera, then is when I'm gonna add the rest of the shadow benny and the garlic mix. Sorry, it's wrong. We have to put salt in here. Oops. Some of my viewers doesn't like that banging on the pot. Now salt is for taste. So you can adjust this according to how you like it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of black pepper. I didn't add any hot pepper to this because the tamarind chutney and the cucumber chutney has pepper in it. And we have pepper sauce in the house, so we usually add it on top of that. Stir this wrong. Turn it up to bring it to a boil. Mm. I wonder if my neighbor can smell this food cooking. Let it come up to a boil and then I'm gonna cover it. Turn it down low. 
Leave it for probably about 20 minutes. I want to make sure it started bubbling up before I put that cover on. Just started boiling. Let's cover this and leave it. Probably about 20 minutes. We'll come back and look at it. Then we're gonna go ahead and start making that doubles. All right guys, it's been about 10, 15 minutes now. I'm just gonna add the remaining bandanian garlic. I'm gonna add my cumin and jeera. Put about a spoon first. Maybe just a little bit more. I love jeera. Turn it around, see what it is. Mm, 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 mm. Let's cut it back. Leave it for another 10 to 15 minutes and see what it looks like again. All right, guys, chan is almost done. Sometimes you take the back of the spoon and we just, you know, mash it up a little. All right, let's turn this off and go start making our barra. All right guys, the bar has been setting for, sitting for about half an hour. We're gonna go ahead and make it out on the pan. This is an easy, easy way of doing it. On this pan, I put just a little bit of oil. Let's move the bowl so you can see how simple this is. My wife made this thing look so easy. See, some of it coming whole. Because I've not been doing this for quite a long time. Let's put this one aside. I'm gonna do a third one real quickly here before I go over to the pan and fry them. It's gotta be gentle because as I'm pushing it here, I can feel it, the bar is stretching and it's, it's getting a little bit too thin. I'm gonna take this over to the oil and fry them up really quickly. All right guys, we're gonna fry this bar up. Now before we fry this bar, you gotta know the oil gotta be really hot. And when you put this bar into the oil, it can only be for two seconds on each side. So it's gotta be a quick, quick, quick in and out. All right, so let's go. Oh, it's sticking together. Let's see. One, two. Woo! Turn. One, two. Out. Next. One, two. There we go. A little bit more. Now you know I have a sweet mode brother-in-law in Trinidad. So he does have doubles for breakfast, doubles for lunch. Then he's lashed barbecue in the afternoon. So this one is for you, Mr. Joe. Fast and easy. Ooh, big hole in this one. That's okay. All right guys, the double is done. And just a quick note I wanna show you guys here. As Soon as the double was finished, we had to put it in a bowl or, a, or a, a pot and keep it tight and cover it some paper towel. This way it stays moist and nice. You know when you go to the double stand in Trinidad, that's how people want the doubles hot. You know, just cover it tight. All right, let's plate this up. Mm -mm. Look at that. First try, guys in Florida doubles. My, my, my. Here's a chana. Let's 
put the, some of that nice cucumber chutney inside of it. Tamron, of course. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a little taste. I like a little pepper sauce on mine. Some people say internet says slight pepper, slight pepper. And there we have it today, guys. Doubles with mango chutney, with tamarind chutney, and cucumber chutney. Come, let's see.